Hi everyone, welcome to my Monday's analysis. Um, I'll be looking at the markets, the, the pairs I trade, I'll be looking at them and seeing how they pan out for um, the week ahead. I don't normally do a Sunday analysis because um, when the markets open on uh, the late Sunday night, stroke Monday morning, they tend to gap and they kind of throw off the whole um, analysis sometimes. So I like to wait for Monday to at least open. I, I like to wait for the New York session to open and then I start to kind of gauge where the market's going to go um, throughout the week. So I'm gonna start doing these regular on a Monday and what I'll do is, like I said, I'll predict where I think the market's going to go for the week and then we can um, see if they play out, what happens. Um, yeah, and then we can just take it from there. So let's start off with pound dollar. Now, pound dollar, okay, was in this um, bullish run. Okay, we come out of a massive area of consolidation and we had this bullish push to the upside. Now you can see on the daily, we come into um, a significant level of resistance, okay? And what we've done here is we've put in a good few rejection candles at that level. Now this is potentially telling me that we're gonna start seeing um, a change in trend. We're gonna potentially start to push to the downside. We can see um, today's the 10th on the 7th, which was uh, Friday, I believe. We had a massive push down, okay? And now we're looking at um, a, an, an, an indecision day, okay? So today's not great, it's not very bullish, not very bearish. Bit of a doji candle, bit of an indecision. I'll just draw that line in there because I think there was more drawings on a lot of time frame. There we go, okay. So we know we've got that potential level, all right? Let's go to the four hour and have a look what's happening on the four hour. Now, on the four hour time frame, we can see we hit that level, we pushed down, pushed back into that level and we showed some signs of rejection. Now, I believe during the week, I took a trading opportunity on this, okay, for a potential sell, I think it was, um, and we hit targets, I believe. Um, now we can see we push down and we're pulling back into a level of structure that I like to see, okay? So we got a level here. We can see we had a rejection, okay? And we had another rejection here. We pushed down, pushed up, and we've started to hesitate. Haven't really pushed up as much as I would like to see. Um, up into this sort of range here, all right? But we do have a level if from this high to to these wicks here we do have a level here that is a potential reversal level now let's have a look if we've got any confluence at that level okay yes we do we have a 38.2 and we have the 50 percent in and around that sort of level so this level is nice okay not only do we have structure to the left but we do have um fibonacci levels as well confirming that level so let's keep going down the time frame and having a look. As we can see, pushed up into the level. Now I'm very sell biased on this market. Pulled back, we're pushing up into, again, a level of resistance. We're making this kind of double top formation, okay? If this level holds, if this level holds, I'll be looking for a shorting opportunity to the downside. Now we can easily go to a lower time frame and have a look at that. I would like the market to push us a little bit further up. Okay, I ideally want to see the market come into this sort of range here before then looking for the uh, selling opportunity. So the way I would do it is I would look at that level. I would right click. I would add an alert. Now, there's my alert. If the market pushes up and gets bare minimum into this level, then I'll be waiting for um, the market to relax a little bit, show me signs of rejection, and then I'll look for the shorting opportunity to the downside. 
now the whole process is if then if this happens then we do that okay it's good rules to follow um, and that's how I trade so again once again if the market pushes there then I'll be waiting for rejection and then take the sell I wouldn't just take a sell because it's in that area now I don't trade on the five minute time frame um, but just having a look at the five minute nothing of um, you know nothing major for me to say oh well you know let's keep an eye on this we are putting in a little little resistance level there potentially we could push down from here but if we do push down from there oh well i'm not going to beat myself up about it all i'm going to do is i'm going to wait for the push down i'm going to wait for some sort of pullback rest and then i'm going to look for the selling opportunity to the downside so let's see what happens with this one okay um again ideally i want to take the sales up in and around this level so that's pound dollar for you um euro dollar let's have a look okay daily time frame massive bullish run again what we have done is we put in this double top formation okay we're holding a level of resistance now once again same as pound dollar this should start shouting out to you mm, maybe we want to start seeing a reversal okay the daily's been bullish 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 there's got to be a point where potentially the market starts to to have some relief in it and i think this may be the area if we scroll out a little bit and look what's to the left there's a couple of levels of resistance here so if i just plot this here you can see we've got one two potentially three here okay and if we follow that line across there you go you can see the markets come right up into that price level and now we're starting to hesitate okay it doesn't have to come bang on and people always think the market has to come bang on to that level no it doesn't as long as it comes in and around that price level and start showing signs of rejection then we're all good to go okay had a rejection pushed up had a rejection if you look to the right you've got that even handled number okay 1.1900 so if i just get it right on that number there you can see that's the level we keep reject rejecting so there's some sort of um resistance going on there there's a lot of sellers in that in that um area and now we can see we push into the downside i would like to see this level close uh below and then pull back and sell if i'm looking at it on the daily but with having the sell bias what i can do is i can look for something maybe within this range here okay potential selling opportunity within this range here so let's go to the four hour and have a look so on the four hour what we can see is um the resistance much clearer okay you can see we had almost like a triple top here push down breaking this level here all right and then we've pulled back into a level of resistance that we can see over here we've got resistance resistance and we pulled into resistance again now i missed an opportunity here because i don't really trade monday mornings so there would have been a nice opportunity here for sell because of with that sell bias plus we got that pullback into structure and now we're pushing down so what i would like to see is if we go to the one hour there you go this looks perfect okay i would like to see push down pull back i would like to see a nice structure level which we got okay and then i want to start seeing signs of rejection now we can see signs of rejection this is all absolutely perfect okay we're putting in this almost double top formation it's not quite valid uh, but it's definitely like a retest now i just need my confirmation candle okay once i get my confirmation candle i will be looking for a selling opportunity that will look something like this okay and then i can potentially aim for these lows down here all right or i can be a little bit more conservative and aim for something like this level here 
all right which i think will be a lot safer and we get just over two to one all right so depend on where this candle closes will depend where i put my stop will depend where i put my um target so i'm just going to mark that as orange because i know that potentially there's something happening in around this level here so let's go to euro yen all right let's delete these right euro yen on the daily time frame zoom out and have a look at any structure levels right to the left we have structure levels here and here okay if the market gets in and around them levels there i'd start potentially looking for um selling opportunities but at the moment we don't have anything like that we can see we had the level here all right just push it up a bit there you go I can, we can see we had the level here of resistance market broke through and now we're pulling back into that level of support okay once resistance is broken then become support oh just move my line and pull that back okay right there so lovely if we get in and that around that level i'll be looking for buying opportunities let's go to the four hour have a look yep so you can see we had a uh, rejection and rejection okay and now the market's pulling back down into that level of rejection so let's see if the market comes down into this level and then um we can potentially take buying opportunities like i said we can see resistance here resistance here um sorry support support we had rejection candles rejection candles if the market comes into this definitely be looking for potential buying opportunities but i don't want it to break this level here if we break this level then i'll be a little bit concerned that we're gonna have something that looks like this okay um so let's just see what happens um on buy bias on this uh currently at the moment if we go to the one hour time frame yeah same there's not much difference between the four hour and the one hour it's just dribbling on the one hour okay you can see we're just trending to the downside all right um i'm expecting this to keep trending down if you wanted to okay as a counter trend um type of trade i mean on the one hour we're trending down okay so you could potentially um look at this as a level of consolidation all right if i just show you this a level of consolidation and you could be looking for a breakout to sell down to this level here but with me i'd rather be more conservative i don't really trade like that um the only time i would trade something like that is if we break this level have a pullback into structure and then look for selling opportunity to the downside so if you want to be a little bit more conservative that's what you can do is wait for the pullback and then sell off into this area before then potentially looking for that buying opportunity up okay um so they're my pairs right they're the ones that i uh, generally go through but i'll have a, a quick look at another couple of popular ones i'll do pound yen okay let's have a look at pound yen so on pound gen um, on the daily you can see we're pushing up into a resistance level okay we was bullish and now you can see for the past good few days maybe a week here we've been holding that level not doing anything so are we going to break or are we going to push down who knows okay let's have a look at the four hours to see if there's anything that kind of stands out to us now as you can see we've got a level here all right, of resistance and we've got a level here of support and we're just literally bouncing in and around that range so what do i want to see well if we get up into this level i could look for a potential selling opportunity but my concern is how many times is this going to get hit before it breaks through and same with the um support at the bottom how many times is it going to break and um, test before it breaks through so what would i like to see i would like to see a level get broken pull back and then a sell off or like this or a, a buy okay a break up pull back and then a buy 
Um, there is a smaller level um, within here of resistance. Okay, I can see the market keeps resistant, resisting this sort of level here. But when it's in consolidation, I don't really like to look at them levels in the middle. Go to the one hour. We can see we're currently pushing up from this level and we are making these um, higher highs and higher lows. We are trending to the upside, okay? So my theory is we are making our way up to this top end without a doubt. Um, if you are going to take a trade within this range in market, I would look for this level here. This level here as a potential level to break. Um, push up, pull back into and then a buying opportunity to the upside. Okay, that is what I would look for if you're going to try take a trade within this range. Um, let's go to dollar cad clear this um, right dollar cad on the daily pushing down bearish 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 okay we've currently broken this level of support here as you can see and we're pulling back up into a level of um, resistance stroke structure okay you can see we've got a level in and around here on the daily that lines up with this trend line which i don't really trade trend lines okay but if you was to draw one um we've kind of got one just here all right so it's all lining up for a potential selling opportunity let's go to the four hour four hour you can see we had rejection 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 all at that level there and now we push into the downside so i'm very bearish on this market okay very bearish Let's go to the one hour. And on the one hour, you can see we put in this lovely, okay. We did have a double top here, but put in a triple top and then we've literally just tanked uh, down, okay. So what I will be waiting for on this particular one is a pullback into this sort of level here. Okay, into this level here. And then I'll be looking for my selling opportunity down. So what we can do is we can potentially put an alert there. Add alert. Create. Okay. If the market gets in around this level here. Just want to move this alert down a bit. For some reason I can't move it down. Very strange. Right, let's delete that and just do another one. Add alert okay so if the market pushes up into here triggers my alert then i'll be looking for a potential resting opportunity and then a sell to the downside so there's a few pairs for you um i'll tell you what we'll just do new zealand dollars as well as the last one okay and we'll see um and then we'll call it a day for now so um the daily on new zealand dollar we are pushing up okay and once again we have found a level of resistance you can see level of resistance all right um so we broke this these two structure levels on the daily and now we pulled back in and we put this double top formation uh, double bottom formation here on the daily which may tell us that this market's going to push up at least to around these sorts of levels here okay so we bullish, we pulled back into structure and we put in, in a double bottom formation on the daily. You can see that double bottom formation here on the four hour, massive double bottom. And then we've got a smaller one in here as well with rejection candles. So I would definitely be inclined to taking a buy on this. Um, a buy back up in and around, we can either go to this level here, okay? Or we can go to this level here for potential target taking. Or we can go up to our green zone here um, for potential target taking. One hour. Let's have a look. Right. One, one hour's pulled in. Okay. We put in this um, nice big push out. Okay. Nice big high, high, high close candle. I've missed a bit of an opportunity to get in on this. So what can I potentially wait for? I can either wait for four hour confirmation, which we haven't got yet. Or I can wait for the one hour 
to break this level. Okay. Push up, pull back in, and then take a buy. Maybe up to these levels here, depending on um, how the trade is and what my risk to reward is. All right. 15 minute. Yeah, 15 minute. Nothing there for me. Four hours going to be my best bet on this one. If I take anything, or like I said, the one hour, I have to wait for a little bit more confirmation. So there's a, two, a few pairs for you guys um, to have a look at for the coming week. These should play out over the next day or so, um, which will be fantastic. And while I was um, recording this, or while I'm recording this, should I say, we can see that pound dollar has pushed into that level that I wanted. Okay, we can see pound dollars in there. Um, so now what I'm going to be looking for is I'm going to be waiting and I'll be waiting to see what happens in and around this green zone here for me to potentially take them uh, selling opportunities. Just double check. Uh, yep, yeah, I'll check my alerts. Was it definitely? Yeah, it was pound dollar. Okay. Yeah, so we're just going to see what happens now. Um, just got to wait and see. If we start getting rejection here, okay, and then we start coming down, giving me signals, then I'll potentially take a selling opportunity. So I hope you enjoyed that. Good luck with trading, and I'll speak to you guys in the week in Discord. Take care. Hey everyone, Jacob here. Just wanted to do a little bit of a uh, ending to this video because obviously Hassan's done the analysis for you guys, and I think it'd be really good for you guys to just have a look at the analysis that he's done and then go onto your charts and see if those things have played out. If they haven't played out, what kind of techniques did he use um, and how he has analysed the markets for the uh, week that has just come into an end. Um, I hope that on the Monday when we do the analysis maybe we could get Hassan in here and he could do some live analysis for you guys um but we'll see what happens see if you guys want that comment below if that's something that you would be interested in um but yeah happy trading guys uh remember to subscribe and comment and i'll see you in the next video